Alrighty folks, it's your boy Seppo Payo here coming at you guys with another vlog and this week we have something special because we are going through some pro tips from myself, Matteo and Kevin Jones. We are here at Smuggler's Nuts in, at Green Mountain Championships Hole 18 at Fox Run where the winner will be crowned. Really long par 4 and I'm going to be talking about staying behind your planning food because so often I see people when they are running through their shot, as they are about to throw, they start leaning too far forward and all of the energy that they would gain from the run-up is basically wasted for leaning too, too much forward. Because we want to stay behind the planting food because all that energy needs to stop right there at the planting food and then release to the disc and that's the way to do it. If we lean too much forward, all that energy just runs through the shot. So stay behind, good way to think of it is keep your head like about between your legs. As soon as we start leaning too much forward and our head is in the line with our planning food, we're in trouble and all the energy is wasted. So stay behind, it's as simple as that and that's really the main thing for anybody to get the distance and that's what all the big throwers do, but it looks like this. What's going on everybody? It's Kevin Jones here and it's time for my tip of the day. We're on hole 14, Fox Run Meadows Disc Golf Course. We are in Vermont right now, beautiful Vermont. It's actually the fall, so the trees are kind of getting colored up and everything. But my pro tip for you guys is we're gonna learn how to throw a spike hyzer or even just a hyzer bomb because this is like my most useful shot in the game. It's the reason that I can score super consistently and well on certain courses and this is a perfect hole for the example. So basically guys, when you're throwing a regular shot, obviously your torso is gonna be more vertical. The huge difference in a spike hyzer is we're gonna lean that torso over so that we can do the same exact motion across our torso, but we're bending down, we're changing the angle of the disc. That's ultimately how you can change the angle of the disc is by changing the angle of your torso. The good way to practice this guys is grab a disc and throw it as hard as you can on the biggest hyzer possible. I'm going to show you. All right, so this is how I like to practice this, guys. I've got my really flippy M4. I'm going to throw it on the hardest hyzer that I possibly can and just really practice on getting that snap, making sure that I get enough tor uh, like torque into it that it pops up, maybe flips over too much. Let's see. That was perfect, that's what I wanted to show. I threw it as hard as I could on the biggest hyzer angle possible. So I started doing this a long time ago, but I've obviously gotten better at it and better at it the more I practice it. And now it's even more stronger of an angle for me to throw at now than my flat and, uh, and hyzer angles. Let's throw the golf shot of hole 14. Gnarly roll, but we're still putting, it looks like, maybe around circle's edge. I'll throw one more, and then it's time for you guys to try. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Matt Arm here, part of Team Prodigy, and I'm doing Pro Tip 101 of the day. My pro tip personally is, I feel the biggest problem of most people when they go to reach back, one of the biggest things I see in most people, instead of just locking in the arm with your body crossed, I see people doing this, reaching way too far back, which is almost impossible to time back when you get to the front of it. 
feel like when you get to here, you want to stay parallel to where you're throwing, but let your arm almost come back like you're throwing discus. So you're reaching back as much as you can to come there. So, cause you want to time it out your palm at the front. So when you come to here, there's no way to time the palm here, but here you can go here to here, here to here. So I feel like one of the biggest tips is whenever you get yourself in position for the reach back, you make sure you stay in parallel form to the basket. But let's try it. This is the no-no. Not bad, but that was a lucky throw. And then to the regular way. Keep the shoulders square to where you're throwing. Go through, reach back hard as you can to almost where your arm is fully locked in while staying. Now, hope you guys try that pro tip. And I hope y'all guys have a great day. Thank you, Team Prodigy, and check out more vlogs. Boom. So there you have a pro tip from me, Mario, and Kevin. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.